So if we've got two poses and we kind of want to delay the animation a little bit, for, for instance, the specific arms, we actually can adjust the arms by themselves very quickly. Now, this is something that I picked up from the two animate course. This is the only thing I'm going to show you. It is freaking amazing. Um, the, and I've been taking this course, love it. It's been great. I learned actually quite a lot, which is frustrating, but it's good, but it's frustrating. So I'm just going to turn on record and let's say I want to delay his arms from going up. So maybe around frame 15, I'm going to press shift E and left click and drag it back down. So you can see up the top here that there was a timeline. So if I go shift E, we can see that timeline up there. So now what we're going to have is hopefully we've got that arm delay as it comes up slowly and then goes up. So he has that final fist bump. Let's just select everything and we'll delay the animation a little bit more. What we can actually do as well is if we go ahead and select his arms and maybe at this point here, we can go shift E and then we've got zero, zero to hundred percent. But if I press E again, we can actually go beyond a hundred. And so what this will allow us to do is hopefully <laughs> not the best pose because uh, we kind of broke his arm a little bit but you can kind of see how we can actually overextend our animations the example the two animate guys use is way better but i kind of just want to slap together two poses and show you what's possible